Glory to the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Sorry about that, folks. I got cut off. <laughs> I had another brother calling in on me. I uh, wanted to do FaceTime and stuff, but I, I, I couldn't take that call. So it cut off the video. <laughs> Technology. It is what it is. So if you're still here, thank you for listening. So we're still in the book of St. Luke chapter 23. And we're at... Uh, verse 41 okay the two male factors one said lord if you if, if you're the christ save yourself and us too the other one saying man don't you fear god we deserve what we got but this man he hasn't done anything amiss verse 42 and he said unto jesus lord remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom so this one He's repenting on the cross. He said, Lord, remember me. I'm sorry for what I've done, Lord. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, unto the him, not the other guy, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Okay? Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Not tomorrow, but today. So, the place where Jesus went is paradise. That's where Abraham and all the rest of the saints that have gone on, Abraham's bosom, they're in paradise. That's what you have to understand. Verse 44, And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth, until the ninth hour. So when Jesus died, or when he was hanging on the cross, the sky turned dark, very black. They said it was a darkness over the earth until the ninth hour. So the same way the sky turned black then, it's going to turn black again when he comes back. And it ain't going to be a pretty sight. Verse 45. And the sun was darkened. And the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. So the sun did not cast its light on the earth. And the veil of the temple split in two. Verse 46. We're in St. Luke chapter 23. Verse 46. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice. He said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. So Jesus gave up his life for Israel, for the tribe of Judah, and for all of Israel. That's why he came. That's why he gave up his life. He gave up the ghost. He said, Father, into thy hands commend I my spirit. Verse 47. Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. So this centurion, he was a Roman, but he was also Israel. He believed, okay? Just like we are Israel and we're in this country and they call us Americans, but we are still Hebrews. Paul, the Apostle Paul will even tell you in the scriptures that he was a Roman, but he was also of the tribe of Benjamin. That's why you got to understand the scriptures because you think all the other people when Paul talking about Gentiles, that he's talking about people that are not Israel. That are not Israel. He's only talking about people that are Israel. This centurion. Although he was a Roman soldier. He was Israel. He believed. And he said that. he glor The scripture said he glorified God. Saying certainly this was a righteous man. Verse 48. And all the people. That came together. To that site. Beholding the things which were done. Smote their breasts. And return. Remember, this was during the Passover. It's a feast that they kept because God had delivered Israel from Egypt 
And they had put blood on the lentils and the posts. And the Lord passed over Israel and destroyed the firstborn of all the, all the Egyptians. And so they kept this feast. This is called the Feast of the Passover. And now Jesus is being killed as the Passover lamb for us again. All right? For Israel. And when he comes back, he's coming back for Israel. He's going to, it, it, it's a Passover. He's going to, he's not going to destroy Israel, but all the other people are going to be destroyed. Read the scriptures. Okay? So the people that are looking at what's going on, they're in Jerusalem for the Passover. They know what's going on. They understand. Verse 49, they're, they're Israelites. They have the tribe of Judah, a lot of them, a lot of them of the other tribes. Verse 49, and all his acquaintance and the woman, women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off beholding these things. To all the people that knew the Lord, the knew Jesus, and the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off. Everybody saw what was going on. They was there. They were at the cross when he was crucified. The old song, were you there when they crucified my Lord? They were there. Verse 50, And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and just. Okay, Joseph also was of an Israelite. He was a Hebrew of the tribe of Judah. He also was part of the uh, Pharisees. He was a counselor, basically a lawyer. And he was a just man. That's what the scriptures is referring to. He believed and followed Jesus. Verse 51. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He did not consent to Jesus' death. He was against it. He was of the Arimathea, a city of the Jews. The Jews, again, are the tribe of Judah. Not all of Israel. Jews mean Judah. Who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is all about Israel. You got to understand that. It's not about the rest of the world. It's about Israel. Jesus is dying for the kingdom of Israel. The kingdom of God is for Israel. Verse 52. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. He said, look, let me take the body. He went to, to the governor. Verse 53, and he took, he took it down. Pilate gave him, uh, gave him authority to do it. Verse 53, he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sculpture, a sepulcher that was hewn in stone, wherein never man before was laid. So this again... The scripture being fulfilled that he was uh, buried in a borrowed tomb. Verse 54. And that day was the preparation and the Sabbath drew on. Verse 55. And the women also which came with him from Galilee followed after and beheld the sepulcher and how his body was laid. So these people they knew how what was going on they knew about the uh how where jesus was being buried the location of the sepulcher in his body because they was going to bring ointment verse 56 and they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the sabbath day according to the commandments and we're going to pick it up in uh chapter 24 on the next video and I apologize for this one. It got short. Like I said, I had an incoming call and it uh, interrupted the video. So, uh, But I appreciate everyone listening in. Uh, we're going to continue in a little while. So stay tuned. Uh, God bless you and thank you for listening. Shalom.